This is the most dangerous room on the planet. It houses what is now called the elephant's foot, a two-ton mass of still seething radiation, which settled beneath reactor number four at the Chernobyl power plant on April the 26th, 1986. It remains as a reminder of a disastrous chain of events, which saw an interplay of human oversight and defective reactor design, resulting in widespread fires and ultimately the sole worst nuclear malfunction in our history. As many as 7 million lives throughout Europe were impacted by the catastrophe with the aftermath of serious exposure to radiation still becoming manifest in some communities. The control room of the reactor was a labyrinth of technical equipment and control panels with dials and graphs lining every wall and surface. The room was a buzz with bleeping monitors and signals, attended by a busy team of technicians, scientists and engineers. So it was that evening in 1986 as staff made preparations to run a routine system safety check to assess how long coolant could be diverted into the reactor core should there be a loss of power. What should have been a regular check became a horrific disaster which would gain in infamy over time. An abnormal power surge generated overheating in the uranium fuel rods, converting their cooling water into thermal energy, which powered a massive explosion of heat and steam. A second explosion spewed radioactive material, halting the flow of coolant, which created the literal meltdown of the reactor core and nuclear fuel rods. The result was the mass of molten radioactive lava called corium, which bore a hole through the steel and concrete structures supporting the reactor and oozed into the basement below. While cooling and hardening, the one metre wide mass continued to emit around 10,000 rentgens of ionising radiation on the hour, a dose as deadly within minutes as millions of chest x-rays. In the wake of the Chernobyl meltdown, the Soviet government pursued a strenuous process of reparation, more extensive than anything seen before. About 600,000 firefighters, engineers and other experts dubbed liquidators were flown to the site to stem the levels of ionising radiation flowing from the plant and analyse the causation of the accident. Those less fortunate teams were tasked with picking through the devastated epicentre of the reactor explosions at its adjacent areas. Slowly working their way through darkness, they were able to only to follow the constant signalling of their Geiger counters with relentless clicking alerts of the lethal ambience surrounding them. It was about six months after the meltdown as liquidators investigated the rooms directly below the reactor when a phenomenon caused a piercing scream from their instruments. They were about to explore an area so toxic that no living creature could risk being near it. The technicians attached a camera to a crude set of wheels and propelled it into the gloom. What the camera registered was a bloated mound of molten nuclear fuel, fused with melted sand, steel and concrete. They realised that the swollen mass had seeped through from above after destroying the reactor housing and despite having settled in the basement below, remained immeasurably hot. Like a living thing, it was releasing regular puffs of steam, seeming to be taking laboured, rasping breaths. The massive object earned the name the elephant's foot. Measuring about one metre across and weighing an astounding two tonnes and delivering a radioactive last rites to any who'd ventured near it. There are very few photographic images of this horrifying room, but one does exist that was taken of a Kazakhstani nuclear inspector standing within just a few metres of the elephant's foot. This picture was taken about 10 years after the nuclear accident and the frightening mass was releasing only 10% of the radiation it had done initially. 
However, just over eight minutes of exposure would have resulted in deadly radiation sickness. The inspector, Arta Kornyayev, had commenced his assignment of investigating the accident source and contamination levels immediately following the meltdown and continued with regular checks for years. This photograph was taken within a five minute window following a hasty meter reading. The graininess of the image, visual distortions and the ghostly appearance of the figure are not by design. These eerie effects are caused by the ionizing radiation permeating the room and eroding the camera's film. Photographic film is actually a tool used to keep safe those who work with life-threatening levels of radiation. Scientists and engineers wear bands of photographic film which will darken to indicate unacceptably high levels of radiation, acting like a canary in the coal mine. Cornelia's methods have paid off. He's still with us and in reasonable health. The elephant's foot still poses a major hazard. It is still steaming and continues to infiltrate and erode its surroundings. Should the radiation permeate further and into water supplies, Chernobyl could once again reinstate its notoriety as a catastrophic health crisis. In the meantime, this is definitely one room to avoid. <laughs>